This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. There are times, on occasion, uh, when days get away from you and suddenly it's 3.20 and, uh, and the daily e-blast goes out at 4 and so you do one of these updates without a script. Uh, yeah, that's, that is in fact what's going on right now. Um, so here's what I'm, I'm excited about right now and, and here's one of the reasons why my day has been so wild but also uh, rewarding. This is a season of a lot of engagement um, beyond just the church. We've talked a lot in these updates about um, being engaged outside of the walls of our church. We, we talked about that all week, last week. But there are two things happening right now um, that I'm really excited by. The first is that this is general assembly season for Unitarian Universalists. So it's when my... Uh, professional organization has our annual meeting, and it's when Unitarian Universalists from around the country come together. We were originally scheduled to literally come together in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, we are now coming together virtually um, on Zoom and, and UUA.org uh, for much of next week. So it's an exciting time to share what we're doing uh, with each other um, and to share worship and, and learning experiences with big groups of people. The other piece uh, that, that I'm working with right now uh, is the Faith Coalition of Lancaster County. The Unitarian Church of Lincoln has been involved in the Faith Coalition for a long time, uh, and I've certainly been a part of of work at the Faith Coalition for the last three years. Um, but as of uh, uh, about a week and a half ago, um, I was elected president of the Faith Coalition for the next two years. So we had our first meeting of our new board um, today and, and had a chance to really start talking about what we, wanted, we want the Faith Coalition to be this organization that seeks to be a robust resource for faith traditions, for interfaith engagement, education, and support. What does interfaith engagement, education, and support look like in 2020 in the midst of conversations about equity and inclusion and, and a global pandemic? What place do we have for this coalition that we've built? So it's exciting work. Um, it's, uh, it is time consuming work, but it is joyful. Um, I hope you have a great night. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with a daily video update that is more scripted than this one. And until then, uh, enjoy yourselves and, and enjoy the beautiful weather out there. Bye.